welcome to the new segment of the grade 10th we are discussing in uh, economics that is a chapter of globalization and the indian economy so today's subtopic we are taking as a small producers compete or perish and competition and uncertain employment with the help of the example we can we can understand these concepts so here small number large number of small producers and the workers in a world wild has posed major challenges they are in a a in a tough position in a sometimes here one small example they given about uh, raising a competition so when we are in a participating in any competition we should be very strong to our competitors so how it will be connecting in this globalization in this market world in this trade world so here a small example of uh, one person in your textbook they given that is ravi he is not that much expert and he he has had a small in a small period in his life as a industry industrialist and he is taken a he was a uh, taken a loan from the bank to start his own company which is uh, producing a material like a capacitors in a year of 1992 so his industrial industrial field it was in a town in tamil nadu that is a hosur so he started a small business of manufacturing of capacitors so these capacitors they are we are the using many electronical devices applicances appliances which we are the using in a home that is a tube lights televisions other uh, appliances also so in a 3 years in a within a 3 years he was able to expand his production and he had a uh, 20 workers along with him so his struggle was started for to the when he was uh, starting a company because some the gov the government of in india they are the made some implementation or the development of the related to the these globalization some restrictions are removed by the government some restrictions are the applied for to this by the government so for import of capacitors so as per the agreement of wto in a 2001 and he has many clients which they are the connected to the companies of uh, televisions and they have started a uh, buying a capacitor from uh, other countries so other companies so usually in uh, uh, manufacturing of a television the company need a more capacitors and 
So to a compete with the MNCs, that is a new brands were launched in a India. And in a Indian television companies, they are removed in assembly activities of a MNCs. So they are the started a uh, buying a uh, capacitors from to the other companies. So even though some Indian companies they are the taking these capacitors in a market and so they would refer to import as the price of imported item was a half of the price changed by a people like a Ravi. So what usually in the market they will do if they are the reduce the price of that particular item the people will be attract and that thing is done by Ravi. So now, now he is selling his product the less than half a price that is a capacitors and it was affected in his business. In around in the year of in a 2000, he had only the seven workers along with him and he got a lot of losses and in so many places not only there are so many people doing like this they will stop growing themselves and naturally they will close their business so this is one example the how the people they are not having the capable or they are not they are even, even though they are in a competition, but they are unable to complete that competition. That is an investment, it is needed for to the, them to run their companies. Batteries, capacitors, plastics, toys, tires, dairy product. And vegetables oil, the sum of the example of these kind of uh, industries, the small manufacturers, it will be hit their business due to the this type of the competition. The several units are closed, they are the shut down, the reducing their workers reducing the prices and naturally the people will become as jobless in a small industries in india so in indian indian in india so especially in the next especially in agriculture field they will become a uh, jobless and of the, these small workers or the small investors, manufacturer, which they are the running a small group of the people. Another one example here it is a given. This is the competition and uncertain employment. So when we see this globalization, the world wide, the process of a competition have, <coughs> it will be effect on a workers. Sometimes they will force the workers to work in the company. They are they are the workers, the employee workers, the flexible means they are the working in a longer 
time in a, a job here large mncs in in the garment uh, industry it is one example they given here the europe and uh, america the order their products from the indian exporters the large mncs that is with the worldwide they are the having a network of cheap goods orders to maximum their profits to get a lot of order the indian garment exporters they are the started trying to cut some amounts that is a uh, order costs and the cost of the raw materials that is cannot be reduced and the the cut of uh, uh, labor costs and in a factory employee workers they are uh, on a uh, if they are the permanent basis now they are the started to making a temporary basis workers they are not paying a properly salary for them and who are even the workers also have to put in a long long working hours even though in a night shift also in a factories and it is in only the when they are having a lot of the orders and wages are the very low and the workers are forced to work over time up to finishing that order what they are the got by a company so while this competition among the garment exporters allowed to mncs to make a large profit but the workers are not getting a the good position good salary in that garment factory so one of the garment worker here they given about her uh, life that is uh, in a age of 35 the 35 year old lady her name was sushila has uh, spent a uh, many years in a uh, working in a garment export industry in a uh, delhi so she is uh, known she is employed as a permanent worker so when the permanent workers are there they will get a uh, benefits like a uh, health insurance provident fund that is if they are the doing the overtime they are the paid over rate and so when she was a working in that such a garment factory the suddenly it was cold closed in the 1990 and after the 1990 she is became a jobless she started a searching a job up to 6 years 6 months she searched a job finally she got a job in a 30 kilometers far away from where she was living that is also on the basis of a temporary and she earns very less amount which is earning a before factory sushila leaves her house at morning in a 7 so very early that is in a 730 and that is also the seven days of the week and she return at 10 10 pm that is in a night so she works very hard for to a few for a less salary
these are uh, when uh, there is no facilities like a previous factory health insurance provident fund yes, there is there is no facility in that factory where she is uh, working the conditions of uh, the work the hardship of the workers describes how they are a uh, in the industrial units it is a very difficult for that employees most of the workers in uh, today's they are in working in uh, unorganized sectors and they are working under because it is difficult to get uh, a work in organized sector so when the workers when employers in unorganized it is a difficult for to the lead their life so these are the some examples of a uh, businessman or the workers who are in a under a globalization for reference you can refer a 10th grade textbook thank you